Emerson, baby. I, I have to say, this is just really bumped up this image as far as how I rate it. Alright, nicely done. Gamepad detected. We're using the Logitech F710. Just going to configure this really quick. So supposedly this is the uh, latest and the greatest. Let's check this out. 32 gigabytes. Nice size because the price, you know, 32 gigabytes is going to cost you somewhere between 10 and $14. So really inexpensive. Um, it's a Neo Geo themed start boot screen. So I imagine that you've got to have all the Neo Geos in there. You got your in-game sounds on. Let's go ahead and lower these a little bit. So it doesn't blow your ears out. This is a new version of RetroPie. I can already tell because you have you know the game collections in there. As far as themes, it's running the NeoPie. You can also run, go to Futura. I'll show you Futura. Futura is one of my favorites. Um, so you got CPS1. This is nice because it's big screens. It tells you exactly what your controls are on the bottom. So let's just go through really quick. Neo Geo 140, Cat CPS 1, 30, 37 on CPS 2, 6 on CPS 3, arcade games 520, Super Nintendo 784, that's the majority of them. Sega Mega Drive, also known as Genesis, the majority of them. Sega 32X, the majority of them. Um, PlayStation 35. So this is where most of your space is being stored with the 32. This game's really great. Einhander. Darius, Guilt Gear, Metal Slug X, some Mortal Kombat's, Hang Time, R Type Delta, a lot of shoot 'em ups, and a lot of Street Fighters. So, Fighters and Shoot 'em ups, if you like that. It does have Cody installed, RetroPie options, so instead of RetroPie setup, it's RetroPie awesome, uh, options. And then, total games on this image is 2,368. Um, it's not that many games because it's not giving you uh, Nintendo, and it's not giving you. Um, a couple other systems where you can get thousands of games at a time, like Game Boy Advance, Game Boy. So it is, it's, it is more of a arcade stick style build, just based on arcades. The CPSs are good for arcade sticks. Neo Geo is good for arcade stick. Um, you have favorites and last played. Um, as far as what version this is on, there is no music either, so you don't need to disable any music. Four point two point one eight. And uh, I want to switch to the other theme because I actually like the other theme better. Okay, yeah, you need to turn on. This is usually on. That's why I'm not used to it. Quick system select. So if that that by default is off. So you cannot go between systems like this. You have to go back and then in and then back. So I really like this theme. I'm a big fan of this theme because it's super smooth. I like the look of it. Um, I'm a big, big fan. I'd say it's a little busier than the Neo Pie theme that they were running before, but still really big fonts. All the all the artwork and box art still fits perfectly. Uh, I like it. But just going back now that we have the um, now that we have the um, quick system select on this one, you should be able to go right to left. Okay, see now I can go right to left between the different systems. So this is definitely more of a niche image. It's not like a, it has all your stuff on it. Like I said, you got the Neo Geos, the Capcoms, and then the arcade, the MAME, Super NES, Genesis. So to me, it's like a 1990 to, I don't know, when was the PlayStation 2000 or late 90s? Yeah, so this is more of a 90s image, late 80s, early 90s uh, image. Uh, you're not gonna get, you know, the you're not gonna get super old games like you are on like uh, Nintendo or the Atari 2600. It's fairly new games. You can look at all your games all at once. You can go ahead and jump to the letter and go to M, and I can see all the Mortal Kombat's I have. Go down to M O. Okay, so you got Mortal Kombat 2 Arcade, Sega 32X, and this is something that Emulation Station does now. It tells you what system it's for, which is really cool. 
Mega Drive, which is Genesis, Super Nintendo, PlayStation, Arcade, Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, Arcade, Mega Drive, SNES. Um, this thing also probably has a lot of Street Fighters, as I mentioned, because you have the CPSs and you have the you know the systems that Street Fighters you know started on, the SNES, the Genesis, etc. So if we go down to ST. Street Fighter, we got Street Fighter Arcade. We have Street Fighter Alpha, Warrior's Dreams for PlayStation. We have Street Fighter Alpha 2, Street Fighter Alpha 2 SNES, Street Fighter Alpha 2 PlayStation. So you get th four, three twos. Uh, you get two threes, one for PlayStation, one for CPS 2. You got uh, Warrior's Dreams CPS 2. You also have it for PlayStation, I believe. Yep. So you have two of those. Uh, EX2 Plus and EX1. Then you got regular Turbo Championship Edition for Mega Drive, Championship Edition for CPS One, Hyper Fighting for CPS One, New Generation, and then Street Fighter Two Zero Two Alpha. Uh, and then there's also there might be some other ones that are just named a little differently. You might find. Um, and let's just go to let's say Super Mario for example. But that's only going to probably be NES. Yeah, you just got the S the SNESs. So that's really the only Nintendo system on this entire image. See, this is where I don't think this theme is that pretty. It's just very basic. Um, in here, I really like the large font, though, especially if you're on a smaller monitor or even a really big monitor. Um, you know, either case, it's nice to have big font sometimes. Um, if it's a really small monitor, then yeah, you want a little smaller potentially so you can fit more on there, but. Um, there you go. Everything is cleared out for you. Controls are cleared out for you. So it's a it's a burn it and then it runs type of image. Um, let's just play. Let's just say we want to play Mercs. Cool loading screens, that's for sure. So evidently, there's custom loading screens for a lot of these games. Oh, and there is bezels as well. Wow, this is actually very pretty. So it looks like this is a kind of a bar top style build. Wow, nice. Really nice bezels. All right, look at him go. <laughs> so it looks like for CPS one, you have all custom booting screens. Nice. So all the loading screens, that's really nice, actually. I have to give them that. That's something really cool. And then these custom bezels and the scan lines are on as well. This is actually a lot prettier. I, I have to say, this is just really bumped up this image as far as how I rate it. So it seems to have all custom launch screens for the CPS systems. Wow, look at this monitor. <laughs> Emerson, baby. So this is really cool that they took these retro systems and made them look just like the originals. So it looks like all the consoles just have a carbon background and then the logo of the console. They don't have individual game. And it looks like all the consoles have the same Emerson TV. But you know, that's still a lot of work. Let's see what it is when it goes to modern gaming. So PlayStation again, carbon fiber. Alright, Neo Geo, it's a Neo Geo based image, so let's see, yeah, so all the Neo Geo games have custom logos to start, and let's check out what kind of bezels we got here. Nice. 
So here we got the SNK bezels. Winners don't use drugs. Look at that taunting. Come at me, bro. Alright, so there you have it. It's on the Neo Pie theme right now. You can also change it to the dark theme, which I like a little bit better, but the theme is still theme is still really cool. I really like it a lot. I think the biggest detail in this image is all the bezels and the shaders that are pre-configured for you in all the different systems. From the Super Nintendo has a different TV than the PlayStation, has a different one than the Arcade Classics and the CPS and Neo Geos. Um, a lot of these are huge, great titles. This would work great with an arcade stick build, um, you know, an X arcade, a bar top, an arcade, or, you know, even right now I'm using the F710 controller, which is great, um, or the Hyperkin controller would go pair well with these type of images where there's a lot of fighting games and a lot of shoot 'em ups. So if you're really into that kind of stuff, this is an image just for you, none of the other stuff that you might want. It's definitely not one of those images that's a uh, has everything it's definitely one of those niche images but for the niche it's well 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 set up so therefore I'm gonna give it a perfect a because I can't compare it to an image where you're gonna get everything in these massive collections of things this is not a massive collection it's only 2368 games from the 1990s era and they're all great fighters shoot 'em ups and puzzle games as well there's a there's a, there's a collection but a lot of it is meant for the Arcade Neo Geo and the CPS systems. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know if you have any questions, and we'll see you guys on the next one.